Many years ago, when I was in elementary school if I remember correctly, I was tormented by a nightmare. Not just any nightmare I've had before. Normally, my nightmares involve me dying, me witnessing a murder or something like that. Your typical kind of nightmare. But there was one special nightmare I had. Granted, I'd only had the nightmare twice back then. But then, the nightmare returned, even worse than before. Before I get to that though, I should really explain what happened in the first two nightmares. They always began in my room. I am sitting on the floor next to my bed. There is a luminescent white glow around me, almost like it was protecting me. The door to the hallway is open and I can see into my grandma's room. Well, I can see the doorway. The room is pitch black and I can't see anything else in the hallway. I am reading one of my favorite books as a child. I cannot remember what the book was called though. It was something about a gerbil or hamster going to the dentist or something like that. I am halfway through the book when I hear my grandma order me to go to bed from her room. I then sigh and, wanting to finish my book, I continued reading. A cold breeze enters my room and I, being in my pajamas, began to get really cold and decided to close the book so I can go to my warm bed. I then get up and start to walk out of the white glow. As I exited the light, I felt a strong force, as if I walked through a wall. I paid no attention to it though. The light behind me faded away, leaving the room pitch black for a few seconds until my room was filled with a, the faint light of the moon shining through my window. I continued to walk forward to go to my bookcase that was next to my bed. That's when I began to hear a deep, faint voice muttering. As soon as I was in front of my closet, I heard a loud, demonic voice yell, Gotcha! And I was instantly thrown to the closest by an invisible force. I tried to struggle, but it was no use. I could feel large, sharp hands gripping my arms and holding me up like I was being crucified. I couldn't see anything there. I was alone in my room, but I could feel and sense the presence of something there. I couldn't remember anything past that except for the thing's laugh as I screamed in terror. That a loud, evil, horrible laugh. It still torments me to this day. I've never heard anything like it. The second dream was basically the same. But instead of me reading a book, I was getting out of bed for water. After that, everything is the same. Once that nightmare ended, I never had that nightmare again. Until recently. When the nightmare returned, I was talking to my girlfriend on Yahoo Messenger when I fell asleep on the floor in the living room. I then awoke on the chair nearby. Everything was normal. The conversation between me and my girlfriend was on the computer. The room was poorly lit as it was when I fell asleep. Nothing out of the ordinary. Except for the fact I couldn't shake this odd feeling of something being different. That's when it hit me. I couldn't move, I struggled as usual, but to no avail. Then, out of nowhere, I heard that laugh. Unlike the last two times, something different happened. I realized that I was dreaming. To prove to myself that it wasn't real, I successfully got myself to levitate a little. The creature saw this as a perfect opportunity to attack. I was then instantly grabbed by the throat and was thrown to the floor next to the pillow I fell asleep on in reality, seeing as the creature let go of me. I tried to get up, only to be thrown back to the ground by the large, sharp, skinny hands of the creature. I tried to wake myself up, but for some odd reason, I couldn't. Normally, whenever I realize I'm dreaming, I can instantly wake myself up. Now, I really started to panic. I was then turned around so my face wasn't facing the floor and that's when it finally revealed itself. It was tall, dark, and skinny with pure black, shadow-like skin and glowing, blood-red eyes. It was terrifying. The creature then took the pillow and started to smother me with it, its razor-sharp fingers digging into the pillow. Then, the creature said with an evil, mocking tone, I'm back. He began to squeeze my skull. I could feel the razors of his fingers dig into my skin. He began to dig his finger into the pillow. 
the tip of his index finger touched the pupil of my left eye. Right as he was about to stab my eye, I screamed in pain, causing me to wake up. That was the last time I saw the creature or even had the nightmare. But who knows, the first two times I had this nightmare, they were years apart. Maybe the next one will come soon. Credited to Dark Fire Productions.